Okay, I, uh, I came to see you about bed five, nine ICU. Uh, I don't think bed five is my patient. No, he, uh, he is. Nine ICU. Bed five. Bed five. <clears throat> He's... Just a minute. What's wrong with bed five? He's all paid up, got three insurance companies paying off his bills monthly. He's supposed to be scheduled for gastrostomy, and the family won't consent to it. <laughs> you see, bed five is called a patient, and we're called uh, the doctors. I don't give a goddamn what his wife thinks. I went to Yale. Where did she go to school? It's not the wife. It's his daughter. And after I spoke with her, I, I started thinking that maybe she was right, I mean, about not proceeding with a gastrostomy. I mean, why should we feed him if he's not going to get any better? I'm assuming the man needs a tube put in him because he can't eat, is that right? Yes, but why should we just prolong the inevitable by putting the tube in? Oh. Well, you think just because someone's going to die soon, we don't need to feed them. I have news for you. We're all going to die. Why should any of us eat? No, I'm, I was just questioning... You know what? No. Being a doctor is not good enough for you. Now you want to play God Almighty. Is that right? If there's no reasonable prospect of cure, why should we proceed? <sighs> Where have you been all your life? It's called revenue. He's got catastrophic health insurance, long-term health care, the works. What does his insurance make? What? It's cash money. Not one of those try and collect from the estate deals. And you want to yank his tube. 